Hey everybody, welcome back to the 509. I got a order from one of my uh, customers this morning and he's wanting um, five door pans. And um, these door pans are a type of flashing that you use, that you put on the, uh, the frame of the door jam itself before you put your pre-hung door in there. And that way um, it's designed like a Z shape so water can't go uh, in the back, or if it does try to get there, it'll hit that. It'll be, it'd have to be a lot of water to uh, bypass that, and then this goes underneath the door, and then this hangs out in front of the door, and then this would be the door width from that corner to that corner, and then we raise the sides about two and a half inches on each side for a nailer, so you can just drive nails into those legs there into the door frame. So I've got the metal rough cut, there's two pieces there out of the five, uh, but I was just going to show you how I do one of them and just give you a little bit of a tutorial. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Well, I got to cut it to length, actually. I got it cut to width, but not to length. And these two do vary about a quarter of an inch each. So what does it say here? Uh, yeah, see, this one is 38 and a half inches wide, and then this one's 38 and a quarter inches wide. So I'll cut those two to length, but I'm going to just show you how to do one. Stand by, uh, watch till the end. I'll show you a couple of pointers, and I'll kind of uh, fast forward a little bit of the uh, tedious stuff and show you the results. I forgot to mention this a minute ago when I was doing the other uh, measurements when I was looking at them. But what we do here is we add two and a half inches to each leg. And uh, so 38 plus five, that's how we come up with our measurements. So 38, 39, 40, <clears throat> 41, 42, 43 and a half. So that's what that's gonna be, 43, one. Oops, can't write through the camera. And then by, and then that's gonna be four, five, six, seven and a half. So that's gonna be seven and a half. So you start getting into these other ones, it can be confusing when they're seven eighths or uh, some kind of a 16th or something. So if you have a little bit of problems or something like that, adding uh, fractions, which I do sometimes, uh, I went to the app store and I downloaded a uh, fraction calculator. So they work really well and uh, highly recommended. All right, so I went ahead and scribed these two markings for that Z metal here. This is the three quarter inch from the edge to here. And then this is the two inches that goes down. So this one's gonna come up this way. And then this one is gonna go down, oops, underneath. So what I did was I scribed it here just so I could cut it, but I also scribed it underneath right here, way over here past that uh, two and a half inch mark. So that way I can know where to break it when I go to flip it over and stick it in the break over there. So I'll cut these real quick and, uh, and we'll move on to breaking it. All right, so now we're gonna break it into that Z. All right, so there's the profile of it. Now we just need to bend these wings up, there's one on each side, and then those will be the nailers. All right, that's it. So now when they set this inside the door jam, before they put the door in there, it's gonna fit in there like this. Can you see that? It's gonna fit inside the door here, and then you're gonna have your two by four coming up. Let's see. Okay, this will be the inside uh, of your door frame here. So your two by four will be up like this. And then this just makes as a nailer to nail it from this other side over here. Sorry, right here. Can you see that? <sighs> Having a hard time here. Anyways, yeah, they slide it in there. And then once they get this nailed in here, then they can caulk these corners and then slide the door right on top of this. And then that's, this should be keeping your door jam waterproof. Okay, so we're done with the door pan and here's the finished product. These are the 
the uh, nailers that I was talking about. You just slide this whole piece in your door jam and nail it off on both sides through here. And then put a little bit of caulking on these corners here so they don't leak. And then you should just be able to slide your door right in. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments below. And please give me a thumbs up if you would. And subscribe. And we'll see you next time here at the 509.